One of the most highly anticipated games at this year's E3 is Anthem, EA and BioWare's third person shooter action RPG set in an open world shared with up to 4 other players. Initially announced at the 2017 E3, this year we got a much bigger look at the new IP, set to be released February 22nd of 2019. And it's got many people really excited and full of questions. So if you missed the conference, fear not, we've got you covered. Here's everything you need to know about Anthem. takes place in a world where gods have vanished, leaving the world in chaos, with something called the Anthem of Creation all that remains of their presence, along with massive tools that are in constant conflict with the Anthem of Creation, an unknowable force. Sounds mysterious. This conflict between these two things is constantly reshaping the world in new and unpredictable ways, creating things like violent storms, giant monsters, mutated creatures, you name it. You play as a freelancer, a pilot who dons a customizable exosuit called a javelin that gives you superhuman abilities and unique weapons that you'll need in order to survive the game's harsh environment. Freelancers are a group of heroes dedicated to providing safety for Fort Taurus, all while exploring the unknown around the fort's walls. But the safety of those walls are in peril. Taurus's ancient rivals, the Dominion, have found a way to weaponize the Anthem of Creation, and you'll need to stop them to protect the free people of Taurus. This is the core conflict within the game's narrative. The environments are incredibly diverse too. You're not just running around, but also swimming and diving into a whole array of locations as we saw in the gameplay footage screened at the conference. The conference also made note of how the game has been designed to ensure more story for years to come, giving players more to do once they've finished the core narrative. One of the biggest questions concerning Anthem was how the game will integrate the 4 player co-op exploration of its open world versus the single player narrative. According to Casey Hudson, Mark Dara, and Kathleen Rootsart, who is Bioware's general manager, Anthem's executive producer, and Anthem's lead writer, the game emphasizes the idea of Our World, My Story, a living shared world that doesn't sacrifice story for its multiplayer experience. When you're out in the world on a mission, you're a team working and engaging in combat with other players or your pals. But when you return to Taurus, for example, it shifts back to your story, your goals, your achievements, interaction with characters, and the consequences of your choices within the game's narrative, a narrative with the impact and agency of a regular single player game the likes of what we've seen Bioware craft before. It's a dynamic and living world, a game that changes every time that you come back to it and play it. Anyone who is playing Anthem at the same time is seeing the same thing when it comes to weather and time of day. And Roots aren't even hinted to devs being able to drop in events in almost real time that will affect the entire world and gameplay for everybody. Anthem is not just an MMO with story bolted on the side, it's a whole new and different kind of gameplay. But if co-op isn't your thing, fear not. The game has been designed so that it's balanced for single players too, they want to navigate the open world solo and not end up being completely overwhelmed by it. Moving on to in-game purchases. Coming off the scandal that EA had over Star Wars Battlefront 2, devs and execs at EA were very adamant to stress the absence of loot boxes and power-up perches at their conference this year. That makes sense. Anthem is no exception. The game will have neither of those things, but there will be the option to purchase cosmetic assets for your javelins. And there was no word on whether additional game updates that expand on Anthem's story will come at a cost. I guess more on that later. Speaking of, let's discuss the javelins and what we know about the exosuits that players will get to soar around in. There are four types of javelins, the ranger, the colossus, the interceptor, and the storm. And all four of them offer very different ways to play. Plus, you don't just have to pick one. You can choose any of the four depending on the mission, or what your friends are playing in. So here's the breakdown on each. The ranger is a more generalized, versatile, all-purpose suit, primarily designed for one-on-one, -on -one, up close and personal combat. The other three are a bit more specialized. The colossus gives you a whole lot of firepower. It's a tank powerhouse that lends itself to strength-oriented tasks, devastating the battlefield with more powerful weapons. The Inceptor, on the other hand, is more of a speed focused javelin, and the Storm is a long range spellcaster javelin. There is also a lot of emphasis on customization, not only cosmetic, but in terms of your suit's mechanics, so that it'll be more fitting of each player's individual playstyle. Essentially, you're a pilot with the option of slipping on any of these javelins, and the game doesn't want to limit your potential. Alright, there we have it, friends. Mark your calendars for February 22nd, 2019. So, what do you guys all think of Anthem? Is it on your to buy list? Let us know your thoughts in those comments below. And if you dug this video or want to keep up to date on everything E3 2018, be sure to subscribe to our channel Top 10 Gaming for all of the conference's highlights and coverage. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody, I'll catch you in the next video.